this is dr rupali shirke working as an associate professor in electronics department at walchan institute of technology sholapur in this video lecture we are going to discuss with the barrett diode learning outcomes at the end of this video students are able to describe the construction working and characteristics of the barrett diode also we are knowing, going to know the application area these are the contents which will be covered in this video lecture now barrett barrett diode is a abbreviation used for the barrier injection transit time diode which bears to the similar family to family of the widely used impact diode in the previous lectures we have seen with the impact diode this barrett diode belongs to the same family of that impact diode the use of the barrett diode is usually used for the micro generation the signals which are in the micro range to generate that signals we are using the barrett diodes the barrett diode uses the principle of the thermal emission rather than avalanche multiplication what is thermal emission See, thermal emissions are nothing but a uh, electrons are discharge when temperature is increased that phenomena is known to be a th thermionic emission the barrett diodes are used as a micro oscillator because due to the thermionic Em thermionic emission and as well as the diffusion of the minority carrier occurring across the forward forward by junction in this diode the micro oscillations takes place when we see the in internal structure of the barrett diode it has a two terminal two terminals and a three layer device here you can see that p and p to uh, the diode uh, there is a one junction p type and n type of material and another n type p type and n type uh, that's why it is known to be a barrett consist of a two back to back diodes here you can and the two terminals which are been named as a emitter and collector there are various structures available in for the, of the barrett diode that is a pnp uh, like uh, pnvp or pn metal or metal and metal let us see the operation of the barrett diode as in the structure we are seen with the it is a two terminal devices back to back diodes have been connected this is a Uh, diode uh, with the structure p n p these diodes are made to be connected to the dc voltage the p type is connected to the positive terminal and this uh, then this side right hand side p type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery the space due to this uh, between these two junction there are two junctions created over here between that two junctions a drift space region is been space which is called, which is nothing but a depletion region which is been formed the first junction between the p type and n type of material that is a p junction at uh, pn junction in this this diode they are connected to the positive terminal of the battery that's why they are in a forward bias and named as a j1 hmm. while the another junction is formed over here which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery means p type is connected to the negative terminal so this is in a reverse bias condition so the this is a reverse bias junction j2 now due to the this forward bias condition of the junction j1 the depletion region width is less the width of the depletion region is less and this is in a, this junction j2 is in a reverse bias that's why the width of the depletion region is 
more compared to the J1. Now, this depletion region due to the reverse bias condition, this depletion region goes on increasing towards the left hand side instead of right hand side. As it is a negatively, the old, as you go on increasing the voltage of the reverse bias, then this depletion region go on increasing in the towards the right hand side, uh, left hand side, sorry, instead of the right hand side. So, at one point, the both the depletion regions are met. If uh, till the old the voltage is increased if the voltage is increased until the edge of the depletion region meets then that condition is known as a punch through occurs at this a punch to occurs means what the emission of the carriers takes place let us see the behavior of the electric field across this uh, diode now as we know that the junction J1 is depletion region is become thinner due to this forward bias condition and this junction J2 the depletion region is increasing due to the reverse bias condition. The at the junction due to this width of the depletion region is less so almost the electric field is less almost it is in a negative form. Now, as the this electric field due to the voltage this electric field start increasing increasing and at the junction uh, at the junction till it reaches the junction j2 uh, when at the junction j2 it start again decreasing the electric field start decreasing at this point at this point is said to be a breakdown of the electric field in this way how the operation of this diode takes place now when you see the vi characteristics of this uh, barrett diode there are in this graph there are the three uh, three graphs one first is a terminal voltage which is representing the terminal voltage second is representing the injection current third is representing the terminal current now as we know that as the electric field uh, uh, threshold level PT is nothing but the, at the threshold voltage that is nothing but a punch through voltage PT stands for the punch to voltage the punch to voltage is represented over here now as we know that the depletion region is increasing towards the left hand side And this is a forward bias that's why the width of the junction J1 is less during the positive half cycle during the positive half cycle the during the positive field the holes from the P region the holes which are the majority carriers emits into the N type of region where they become a minority carriers where the when in the minority uh, due to that they creates a carrier carrier signals which are moved towards the terminal and this electrons uh, this carriers forms a injection current so this uh, this carriers forms a current in the depletion region which is called as a injection current so during the positive half cycle during the positive half cycle the positive half cycle the injection currents goes on increasing and after the that point it start decreasing now in the negative half cycle there will there will be no charge carrier generated in the depletion season that's why there will be no current flowing injection current in the depletion region again during the positive half cycle again the current start increasing and after the peak point it start decreasing in this way the injection current is generated in the depletion region this injection current or the carrier has to move from the large length over the over the large length that is a nothing but a it take a transit time to meet the uh, reach the terminals so 
at the terminal so the terminal current is represented by this graph we can see over here the during the these two cycles during the in between these two lines between these two lines the voltage is at high level where uh, at that time a current is increasing the terminal current is flowing it remains constant for some duration of time and after that point again it start decreasing again the current start decreasing again during the positive half cycle it start increasing remain constant and decreasing now during the positive half cycle at this point the current is positive the voltage is voltage is positive voltage is increasing current is increasing that's why it is called as a positive resistance resistor your current is negative between these two pulses the current is negative and voltage is current is decreasing this creates a negative resistance in the diode so the micro oscillation depends upon the two factor that is the rapid increase of the carrier injection causes by the decreasing the potential barrier barrier of the forward bias at its junction j1 and the long transit time of the carrier towards the depletion region causes a caused by the reverse bias junction j2 the oscillations are created due to this two region so the advantage of the diodes it works with the thermal emission so it produces a low noise disadvantage when the frequency is increased the efficiency increases it produces the low output power and bandwidth is also narrow application areas it can be used as a bulger alarm and also it is used as an oscillator in a various application at a microwave frequency it can be used as a small signal amplifier also now what could be the difference between the impact diodes and the barrett diode when we recall them the barrett diode uses a thermal emission rather impact diode uses the avalanche multiplication so the barrett diode are less noisy compared to the impact diode that's all thank you these are the references